well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come to God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed, son. Stay blessed. Keep your hands lifted. I release upon you the spirit of understanding. In the name of Jesus. As I stretch my hands like a mantle. The Bible says, and open he their understanding. A man's understanding can be opened. I open yours this night. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Listen. Listen to me. We'll soon sit down. Listen. You see, you don't have to be educated to understand spiritual things. That would have been a big disadvantage to those who did not have the opportunity to go to school. Spiritual things are communicated by the spirit. So whether you can speak English or not, whether you are at whatever educational level, it doesn't matter. Once you are in an atmosphere where the spirit of God is permitted, the word has capacity to birth understanding. One more time, I stretch my hands to you. And I command that whatever makes the word of God barren and unfruitful. Whatever makes the word of God unfruitful. In the name of Jesus, I take it out of your life. Whatever makes you to doubt the word. Whatever poisons your faith. So that as the word of God comes, you doubt every philosophical imagination, every scientific interruption to the quality and the power of the word. I command you to live your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray one minute. The spirit of understanding is upon me. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit of understanding, the ability to receive, the ability to comprehend. With all the saints, the length, the height, the depth, the width, the ability to comprehend, the ability to comprehend, the capacity to receive spiritual things. Are you praying? This is part of the meeting. This is a year that you must be blessed. It's your year of triumph. For you to rise up like the eagle. Pray. Understanding. 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 Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me yeah. help me those are voices i am under the shadow of your wings 
Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. His influence is upon you tonight, brothers and sisters. Like a hand upon her young, brooding upon your spirit to make a wonder out of your life. Please be seated if you can. I want you to pay attention to a very deep mystery I want to share with you tonight. Very deep spiritual mystery. Open your eyes, open your spirit. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're my peace. I'm prophesying someone's miracles again. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will Yeah, yeah, yeah. that this is our month of wealth I want to share with you the mysteries that are responsible for certain strange occurrences in the lives of men and women please I want you to pay attention tonight I want to teach you the mystery of exemption write it down the mystery of exemption my spirit is overjoyed. You see, when the Holy Spirit begins to rejoice through my spirit like this, it's because prophetically he has seen that the word will be received. Hallelujah. You will receive something tonight, I assure you. Hmm. Psalms 50, the mystery of exemption. Psalms 50 verse 15 and 6. Mantles have been given to the church. Mantles have been given to the church. Tonight, Mordecai's arising from the gates of the church. For the kings to be born, for the victory to be born. For the mantles to return, for the graces to return. Yeah. Ali Ali O, Ali O, Ali Ali O, yeah. of power arising from this place here tonight for the kings to be born 
for the mantles to return, for revival to return, for the power to return. Ali Ali Yo, Ali Yo. Chant in the spirit. That's what God is doing already. There will be a mighty baptism of mantles tonight. Believe me. Tonight is, is like an initiation into a realm of reality, a realm of possibility. There is such a provision in the kingdom. There is such a provision in the kingdom that men can be exempted. There is such a possibility in the dealings of God with man. Please be seated. Psalms 50, verse 15 and 16. If it's possible for us to have amplified, that's great. Otherwise, no problem. You are immersed in a strong atmosphere of God's glory because of something you will hear. Brothers and sisters, God is not playing games with us. I want us to believe Him. Everyone read as I begin my teaching tonight. Just be sensitive to what the Spirit of God is doing inside and outside. Those outside, please, I want you to understand that there is no difference as far as the reach of the anointing is concerned. One, two, read. And call on me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you shall stop there 15 stop there go back please 15 so it's a two-way thing you have your own role to play your role is please keep it there honor and glorify me then he says call on me in the day of trouble and i will deliver you the shocking scripture that the lord led me to is verse 16 read if you're a christian 16 please go ahead and read Are we Bible students? If God does not open your eyes to this thing, bar, you won't see anything. Believe me, revelation is a spirit. If there is no amount of cramming scripture and Bible study that gives you the spirit of revelation, God has to open the eyes of men. But unto the wicked, the word wicked there is not sinners. The idea there is unto those who are determined not to walk with me. He said, what right have you? We're talking about right here. We're talking about a legal access. What right have you to recite my statutes? I shall not die. I shall not die. I, will, I won't be poor. I will be rich. He said, what right have you to recite it? Everyone is talking, just talking. I won't be sick and you are dying. I won't be poor. It's clear you are getting poor. There is a mystery. Confession is a powerful provision but under certain conditions. See, let me tell you something. Half truth can destroy you like a lie. It can do the exact same thing a lie does to you. That's why Satan is not afraid of using half truth. Because it makes no difference to him. He says, what right have you to recite my status? So everyone is confessing. Wealth and riches are in my house. Everyone is confessing. Oh, I can't get into trouble. I, I can't have accident. It's impossible. And you are watching yourself die per second, per second. What right have you? What right have you? That's the point you should circle media, not do wicked. What right have you? To recite my status or take my covenant 
or pledge on your lips talk is cheap brothers and sisters but you see the reason why many believers mock themselves in the presence of the world is we do not understand the systems of the kingdom say the systems of the kingdom so we camp around a dimension of reality and we mock ourselves and the painful part is we are doing what is right but the result is not there because it's not complete god is obsessed with completion having the readiness to judge all disobedience if and only when your obedience is complete what right have you to be exempted when there is a plague that is released upon people what right have you to be exempted this one is not free what right that means there is an authorization based on certain things that are done are we together now what right have you to say a bike will not kill me what right have you to say tomorrow i will still wake up alive you know many made boastful statements like that and they are no more today many have said in the name of jesus if by the end of this year i'm not rich except god has not called me the years have passed nothing has happened exemption is a possibility that can be accessed by the saints exemption exemption the quality of being prevented from experiencing woes the quality of being prevented from experiencing the pain the tragedy of people the quality of being exempted or being taken away from defeat the quality of perpetual triumph not necessarily the quality of not being in trouble but the quality of an assured escape as guaranteed as God himself is there such a provision in the kingdom if yes what are the keys to walking in such a reality i have taught us here again and again that our lives are defined by the mysteries we have access to so two people can walk upon the earth and their experiences will be the same remember the scripture i read to you the problem is never the foundation the problem is never that you are not born again but the quality of our lives the same way you have two students in a class taught by the same teacher so the problem is not the teacher in the same institution so the problem is not the institution under the same condition the problem is not the condition but then their results will differ and sometimes sharply that's how it is in life two believers two individuals two families Two personalities can be within the same environment yet their results will differ why because the Bible says that you arise and shine only when your light comes the light is available to everyone but those who are interested in accessing it and complying with the conditions and the terms If you're with me say amen. amen what right have you you are making a boastful statement whereas you are seeing what is happening in this nation and you dare have the gods to say it's your year of triumph what right you're watching kidnapping and assassination happening you're watching you're watching people being poisoned just air killing people you can't sue the air to court you're watching demons sit on people's destinies you hear people tell you they went to bed and look at the testimony of of that dear lady went to bed and woke up with physical marks not spiritual marks physical marks on her body question what what stops you from being a victim i want to ask you a question what if as you are sitting down right now somebody is chanting your name in the shrine you can't stop them from saying it but the question i have is what right do you have to say i will not be a victim of it 
what rights do you have to claim that you will prosper i'm doing business it's a joke it's a big joke i have an uncle who is rich another big joke the mystery of exemption job 22 verse 19 i'm a student of the bible i love the bible i don't read the bible to feel spiritual i am very serious about my work with god and my study of scripture i have found it to be the most reliable book i've read many books in my life it's so disappointing to know many of them are useless to my destiny and now that i've found the one that is useful he said i found your word and i did eat it right and it became a joy and a rejoicing to my soul 29 not 19 job 22 29 i want to share with you a few things from the depth of my heart that can exempt men go ahead and prophesy to yourself as you read this scripture want to read when men like they are saying now across the nations of the earth when men like they are saying now across the continent of africa in nigeria even in this city when men are cast down the bible didn't say they say they are cast they are not confessed it is their reality when men are cast down something you will engage will bring you to a point where for you there will be a lifting up a difference an exemption a separation write this down please everyone it's important to come to the lord's house not just with a bible please always have a bible but always have a good material to write or whatever device you're using but make it serious when you take god seriously he will surprise you when you play games with god and make him look like one of those many things in your life then you will not get results so i'm challenging all of us online those outside doesn't matter when you are coming to the house of god go as though you are going to be mentored taught trained built equipped don't go as if you are going to a museum to watch watch artifacts or watch a zoo to watch animals no you are going for a life-changing encounter are we together So exemption, write it down. Exemption from evil. Exemption from defeat is a provision in the kingdom that can be accessed. Exemption from all of those things I mentioned is a provision in the kingdom that can be accessed. That means it is within the power of God to cause men to experience exemption. But like everything in the kingdom, as we have been taught here, everything in the kingdom, including salvation, the cheapest expression of God's grace and love, there will always be a condition attached. Please train yourself into an understanding that every time you desire something in God, know that there is a condition attached. Your condition is a demonstration. Fulfilling that condition is a demonstration of your trust in God and your authorization to commit Him to deliver the results expected. Without condition, there is no guarantee whether you are interested in what God is saying. Watch this. If I drop a piece of cake on this table, right, and I don't give you a condition to pick it, how else can I gauge and test whether you are interested? I drop it here and say, if anyone is interested, come and pick it. Your coming to pick it is a demonstration to me that you are interested. Are we together? You will find people who will not come. I don't have to be angry with them. 
they are only sending a message to me that i'm not ready to eat cake the same way other people are sending messages i don't want to prosper i don't want to rise i don't want to walk in the anointing i do not want to walk in the fullness of the reality and the possibilities contained in god obedience commits god obedience not to what you want you can't set rules and obey it you obey the conditions prescribed by god you can obey the conditions prescribed by a man and still fail you must obey the conditions prescribed by god hebrews chapter 1 the bible says god who in sundry times and in diverse manners spake to us through the prophets had in these last days spoken to us through his son son god who in sundry times and diverse manners he spake to us through different people but in these last days among many other things his chiefest means of communication is his son the word that he has appointed to be heir over all things so it is important to trust the word of god don't just believe it trust the word of god and respect the word of god say amen, amen. there are conditions that if you and i keep we will render the devil helpless and we'll find out that we can walk in the reality of triumph not as a cliche but an experience that will cause many to wonder and see the hand of god and then give him glory and i want to share with you two deep kingdom mysteries that are responsible for compelling trial number one is what i call the mystery of putting god first matthew 6 33 the god first principle you can write it like that god dash first principle the god first principle matthew chapter 6 let's start from verse 31 if you will media 31 let's look at 31 god first principle wherefore take no thought other versions say don't worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed 32 for after these things these things what to eat what to wear the house you will get the car you will get listen carefully the children you will have etc your career whatever it says after these things do the heathen the gentiles seek notice the bible never said they get it he said after these things they seek it didn't say after these things they get it's a cause to seek those things because number one seeking them will never give them to you that's not how to get them the gentiles are getting it wrong they are playing by a wrong formula they seek those things and they never get them it looks like they get them but then you look at what else is taken from their life and it doesn't add up to nothing are we together then it says for your heavenly father your earthly father usually will forget that you need these things so god was comforting you there are many fathers in your life but the surest one the dependable your heavenly father knows that ye have need of all these things 33 but seek first everybody say seek first it didn't say seek together seek what does it mean to seek first if i organize a speech and price sam get ready to stand up and i say sam you took first come out do you join him he comes out alone topmost preferred so the bible says among the many things go back to your seat among the many things in your life i want to marry i want a job i want my enemy to die I, my i must buy a car this duplex is mine i must possess it i must receive a miracle alert i'm not saying those things are wrong he says among them come seek seek i 
isolate God out of the group, bring him out and pursue him. Listen carefully. I'm showing you a very deep mystery. Let me tell you what many of us are doing. We are seeking together. So we say, God, come. Child, come. Civil service, where is he? Come. We gather them like this and say, God, just hold my hand. But Jesus said, my burden is easy and my yoke. You see that? And so God says, where do I stand here? He said, just be, be blessed that you are in my life. And God says, no, my jealousy cannot allow me fight with rent. Fight with whatever. You are so obsessed about getting land, you will miss a service thinking about land. You will never get it. That's the secret to high blood pressure. Are, are you listening to me now? It is the secret to all this frustration that people drive themselves and fall inside a, a gutter and not even know. There are so many things in your life. Then it says, seek first. Give us that scripture again. The kingdom. Seek first. The influence. The sovereignty. Make God first in your life. And his righteousness. The word righteousness there is not just the one imputed by faith. Understand his systems. Amplified says his way of doing things. So, if you seek the kingdom alone, your obedience is still not complete. He said, rather than looking for money, seek to understand principles. Seek God. When you find him and his kingdom, pay attention. While others are running, trying to look for money. While others are running, trying to look for breakthrough. He said, stay with God and understand his systems. What is your reward? How many of these things will come? This is Jesus talking. Please tell me how many. All. He didn't say some. Then you now use the money you have and get the rest. He said if you seek God, isolate God and seek him. And stay with his word. Learning the systems of the kingdom. Not just religiosity. Bible study. Just to cram scriptures. Understanding the systems of the kingdom. He leaves you with a guarantee. One guarantee that all these things, remember that these things of verse 32, what to eat will run after you. What to drink will run after you. The cars, the houses, the children, instead of flying from pillar to post, finding out and say, look, look, I have to do something. I'm tired of being buried. The Bible says, seek the kingdom. And when you begin to study the systems of the kingdom, you will find a mystery that is responsible for fruitfulness. It says, and when you have found it, it shall be a joy and a rejoicing to you. Do you know why many believers never rise up? It's not that we don't read the Bible. Believe me. We, don't, we are not interested in understanding the systems of the kingdom. There are many pastors looking for crowd, looking for membership, yet they will not understand the mystery of growth from the word of God. They just, they, they run around, how are you doing it? You, how are you doing it? Like a charm, like a genie, no. Sit down. There is no man who wanting to, to build a tower the Bible says we first sit down. You know, life makes it look like the moment you sit down, you are being delayed. You, you, you get it now? So people can come and meet you and say, Oh God, till now you are not working. Every day you are just searching scriptures. Look at the foolish person who is talking to you. Ask him how much is his salary combined. You are about to get it now. The Bible assures you to be added. I'm not saying getting a job is wrong. But you are settling down. No, I'm not just interested in a job. I'm interested in favor. Why have I graduated three years and no job? Because of that, I will not just study on a job. I will study on favor. I'm seeking the kingdom. Other people are running around and sweating watching football. And you are there saying, Lord, how, how is it that men rise with favor? Huh? Ruth came with her mother, mother-in-law. And just went to a land with nothing. And within 24 hours, 
they left provision for her boas say leave it as you clean some you think it's just because boas liked her there was a mystery a woman who was even begging her mother to give birth to other children and she will wait her desire of maybe 25 30 years was answered in 24 hours and you are searching while you are searching your passion is attracting the holy spirit don't think he will just come foolishly because no 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 the holy spirit responds to passion and hunger he will watch you reading it like a storybook first that's why you will not see revelation and you say i will not be discouraged i have to find this what happened to abimelech that made him carry gifts and just gave abraham he wanted to carry abraham's wife an angel showed up and said if you eat, you would you are dead he didn't say you would die you touch this woman you are dead so as a husband you are now afraid whether they'll kidnap your wife and you go back to scripture and say instead of running around policing my wife like a fool let me find out what is the mystery a kidnapper is coming and that same angel will say i've been here for a long time you touch this woman don't say it's happening to others you don't know what they believed you define your reality by what you believe i keep saying it is when we will go to heaven that god will show me how many goats were slaughtered because of me how many rams were dragged to another house how many bottles only god my picture is everywhere somebody will download it and shoot that picture till he injures himself ah! when you surround your life with mysteries you will laugh you will laugh and laugh and laugh at a foolish devil you are everything everything, everything is you everything is you you are everything Everything is you. Everything One more time, sing it on him. You are everything. Everything is you. You are everything. Everything is you. Everything is you. Listen. Do you know Satan has a system? The economy of the devil is such that he's obsessed. Do you know if you work for Satan, you will still not be idle? Satan is the master of occupying people with things. The only difference is that they are useless antichrist and they have no bearing in terms of producing results. The devil will occupy you with issues that will stop you from paying attention. But hear what Jesus tells Martha. He said, Martha, Martha, you are worried and obsessed about many things. But one thing. How many things? One thing is needful. To sit at the master's feet. Not to sit down and worry. You must be listening and you must be understanding. You know, let me share with you a little testimony. I hardly talk about all these kinds of things. I remember years ago when God was starting out with us. That time, Zaria was not the way it is now. That time there were so many people pastors reverends apostles prophets i mean everybody was called it was it was zaria was on fire everybody was doing something i remember clearly there were some gentlemen who would come and meet me and say man of god why are you always sitting like this you are always writing studying the bible one even offered to sponsor a, a radio program for me he said no at your level i mean you are supposed to organize healing meetings organize this and, and i laughed you know what i was doing i was searching the mysteries of the kingdom i didn't want to gather people and be a fool and waste their time and now be resentful at those having results i knew it would take time brothers and sisters ask those who knew me then i spent my life studying scripture i could sit down a whole day just searching the mysteries you see this hurry hurry in life is a very bad thing god is a god of speed but he does not rush people he teaches you the precepts do you know i say it with all humility over 90 percent of those people today they are not even in ministry they were passionate about fame my god passionate about pas 
passionate about briefcase and suit the few times i spent with them irritated me you sat down with them in 10 minutes they were talking about their suit i couldn't afford it i could afford to study the word so i stayed on what i could afford god made it cheap enough for me to stay there there were so many people just the, all this fake and false life oh my shoe is this my dad and i just ignored them with all their nonsense and i'm glad i did just like some of you now while others are running god is saying sit down you are saying god for how long god is saying if you knew where i'm taking you you will start rejoicing because one step in knowledge will cover up 10 years of foolishness 10 years of wallowing in trouble you know this money thing god has said it's a year of wealth listen carefully to me most people believe that god cannot bless them they really do that's why they don't listen to him if you were having a job sam and you were paid let's say hundred thousand how much is that in one year please help me one point assuming nothing changes in 10 years how I was going to say how old is that how how much is that 12 million because of 12 million you rubbish your 10 years rubbish your 10 years fighting quarreling hating and living foolishly whereas God is saying if you will pay attention to me I can do something to you and bring your 10 years to six months to two months to one month to one week and many of you are god don't just leave me i know what i'm doing you know for many people the apex of fulfillment is when they get a job so i mean what when you are talking like they say oh, please get out i have a job a good job what is a good job what is your definition of a good job when you are employed my definition of a good job is a good job that i have absolute control of if I cannot control it, it's not a good job. Because somebody's wickedness can affect me. Correct? I'm not saying get a job is bad. No, no, no. We prophesy jobs here. There are many disciplined, diligent, employed people. Don't be lazy and think I'm endorsing you. I'm about to attack you from the other side. You know me. I will have to balance it. Don't think it's not an endorsement for irresponsibility for whatever reason. But I'm, I'm showing you the vanity of trusting in things these are the things that destroy us to an extent that they now give somebody a job if the devil does it in such a way that every day you go to church or fellowship that's the day you will be needed most that's a useless and nonsense job i repeat that is a useless and what nonsense job the job that has to make you leave god to do it is a stupid job if you are involved leave it now let men insult me no problem leave it listen i've worked with god small he's reliable listen to what i'm telling you are we together now that's why they get angry when god blesses people because they come and say ah, pastor alpha Abba, what happened three cars two duplexes then the painful part is he didn't build any of them. Say, no, this, this is, I mean, I'm, no, I can't, I don't like this kind. Whether you like it or not, it's a mystery. Everybody say mystery. That's why I call it a mystery. A mystery of exemption. That where others have to do a lot of things. I've said it, listen, if you're a businessman here, listen to me. And don't think I'm daft as I speak. Stop wasting your time to save money to buy land. In the kingdom you don't buy land through saving you provoke favor listen i know what i'm saying if well god bless you you can you can save and god will honor it i will even pray on it but you are you will be ready for frustration satan that i know will cause something you must eat out of that money no matter how disciplined you are when you are pushed to the wall you must withdraw something you don't get land you don't get properties by saving. Psalm 44 verse 3. Give it to us please. 
read that scripture and never forget it's just a digression and i'll get back to our subject of discussion and we'll pray i want us to pray tonight help us please psalm 44 verse 3 you are a christian please read it with all your heart one to read uh-huh so how did they get the land now teach somebody this thing and watch him insult you and say you and that your stupid man of god in koinonia you people should continue this nonsense you will beg for bread beg for bread See, I'm teaching, what I'm teaching some of you is very hard. Even you, you are trying to believe it, but what they have told you, you are now wondering, I hope it will work. It's like leaving a rope. You are about to fall and I'm saying, leave that rope and just come. And you are saying, show me the, the quota and I'm saying, just leave it. If it be thou, bid me come. What I'm sharing, many of you, I can't, you, you see, I'm a spiritual man. I receive a spiritual feedback. I see how many of you are struggling to believe and agree with what I'm saying. It's not like you want to doubt it, but you are saying, ah, apostle is hard though. Some are foolishly saying it's because you are a man of God, you are enjoying. Was I born a man of God? You, you join the junk that journalists carry and talk about people and say you are enjoying. People give you tithe and give you offering. I'm showing you how to be happy. That's how to be happy. That you can carry your wife and be happy. You can see a Jimmy and his wife. You can see Ogasho and Shade. There are happy people. You can see Aaron, several Pastor Alpha. There are other angry people. You see them and their wives and stress. That guy is 35. But even you, you would, you would think that he's maybe 50. Life, life squeezed him disobedience added his weight on top and the devil sat on it that's his destiny don't laugh take very seriously what i'm telling you there are people you see them with their wives happy giving god glory giving god praise because they are they are they are accessing the mysteries of the kingdom they know what to do with their children they know what to do with the enemy kai may you know what to do it's a disaster to be confronted with something you do not know what to do the bible says but he himself jesus now knew what to do look at the brother that shared the testimony the one who trekked from um uh, this is a police station or somewhere now you see can you see that in spite of the trekking he now climbed a bike and the devil wanted to kill him it's not fear it's a mystery listen when you trust god you commit him let me tell you something about believing god watch this if this is the door watch this this is a big revelation for someone call this place i'm standing the door to your destiny are we together if you turn around following this door with total sincerity believing that it is god that is leading you god will remove this door and keep it here to make sure you don't miss it let this be a deep word of comfort to somebody stop being afraid who said he must remain there he said i am the door when he moves the door moves so listen listen that's why god protected that brother and brought him to hear the word the devil may have planned god does not give men doors he's the door once you are following him I tell you in your sincerity even in your error he will still say I am the door pass I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child hold on when you see God doing the great things that he's doing through my life and through many great men it's not because we got his instructions 100% is because our hearts are sincere so while based on what you saw in a vision i'm supposed to die god shifts the door and say pass let the enemies keep prophesying themselves into doom they were right but god was god hmm. 
Did you hear what I said? They were right. Their predictions were correct. I shouldn't have made it, but God is God. Choose which part to follow, right or God. I follow him, oh. I follow him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't walk with God with fear. Since God revealed this to me, I, may, I live a very happy life to hell with Satan. I live a very happy life. My heart for God is the chief requirement. He will take me to the place of destiny. If this is the path God earmarked for me, and I follow this path, but with a heart of sincerity, knowing that I seek God, my sincerity puts pressure on his reputation. He will change that destiny and carry it and bring it here. Believe me, I have worked with him. That's the God we serve. That's the God we serve. That's the God we serve. That's the reason why when a man gives you prophecy, it's still not the highest thing. You can change it. He's speaking based on what he saw. But there is something between you and God that can change it. Have you not heard that there were people who somebody saw, a doctor saw, that woman had lost a child. They saw this guy had lost um, whatever. And the man would look and say, it is true. I'm seeing blood. You have lost the child. But I bring a sincerity between me and God. And after nine months, a child comes out. Where did he come out from? I am the door. Door means access. The door to everything. Don't let men fool you. And make it look like you have missed it. You have missed it. You hear people make that arrogant statement. You have missed it. Miss what? God my god you are joking he will navigate that door hear what i'm telling you this is why restoration is possible he can take it and turn the direction and bring it listen he is god he does not submit to any man you be god you know be man no you be god you know be man no Alpha and Omega, you be God, you be God, oh, you be God, oh. Sing it one more time. You be God, you know be man. You be God, you know be man. Let the Lord you. You be God, you know be man. Alpha and Omega. Let me tell you a big secret the key is not perfection the key is sincerity learn this it's not hearing god 100 percent that guarantees your victory is the sincerity of your heart are you hearing what i'm teaching you tonight god first you touch a man addicted to god you are in trouble i'm telling you you touch a man that has carried himself and said, God, I belong to you. I seek you first. When you seek other things and leave God behind, you authorize darkness to tear down your life. When you say it, people think you are stupid. They think it's just a talk for preachers. No, sir. God first. God always. And you are free. The first key to exemption. Hear me is when god occupies every space in your life you will watch trouble come before you like this and pass you as if you're a spirit god first it's not about koinonia it's not about being a civil servant or a businessman there are many foolish career people who threw god away they loved god while they were on campus the moment they graduated, they became too matured for God. They threw him away and said, now we have, we have become, you know, I read, I read engineering, I read maths, I read, I read whatever it is. Lower levels of knowledge. They throw God, they throw his word, they throw everything. You never find them talking about God. They are even embarrassed. You come to their house, you mention God, you say you have come with this God, God thing, pastor. Run away from such kind of people. 
koinonia hear me i love you too much i'm training you to become a wonder run away from anybody who does not prioritize god i don't care whether he's a politician whether he's a businessman if it's your husband or wife you have a work to do start interceding seriously do you know when people come and meet me and they say they are ready to marry even if you hold hamper for me it's a joke do you love god are you serious you don't bribe me with wine and hamper i'm not an idiot do you love god because when all else fail that one thing will bring you back job lost everything and the one thing left the wife said leave it all job said yeah leave god again i lost everything and you are now saying i should leave god why do you speak like one of these foolish women and god had him in pain i hold on to you oh i lost my job but lord i hold on to you how can i lose you are we together my finances crashed but i hold on to you god first the marriage didn't work out still god first the miscarriage happened god first i thought i would not need to go for a surgery but i went for a surgery god first everybody shout god first before that brother god first before that sister let the brother come and meet you loving god don't move around and be saying i'm 30 years keep quiet god first don't sit down moving around and say why wouldn't i get a job let the job come and meet you with god inseparable how can i leave him what will be my reason that he's not faithful I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. Hey, I never see anyone like you. I never see. Please help me praise my God. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone like Sit down. Do you know some of you are looking at me strange? As you rise and you see many cheap victories, you will know why we praise God. We gave an instruction here, hold on, that people should dance their way to the next level. There were too many big people, big CEOs, arrogant people. Who felt too big? Why, why will I make myself a small child? Please, this koinonia, you make people look stupid. The kingdom is for children. When you become too big for the kingdom, you are too big for breakthrough. Too big for what? You think I like dancing? Have you ever seen me dance? Do you think I like dancing? But at his word, you become foolish enough to step into that realm. Are we together? God first. That you vow a vow tonight and say, Lord, listen, brothers and sisters. You know, every time I come here, I watch these little children and their parents. I see how many wrong things they do in 10 minutes. And I see how their parents go. I hear Ejimi calling his child. The wife is there. Everybody doing all they're doing. And I'm saying, that's it. That's the message. God first. They don't run to me. They run to their parents. God first. We hate God. That's why we run to him last. We claim we love him. The moment people are in trouble, you run to your strongest point of deliverance, which is your uncle. And you ran and he told you the money has not come yet. You insulted him and left angrily. You went to another auntie to an extent that you went to a stranger on the road and said, sir, if I die now, is it fair? And God, hold on. God is watching. We pray in tongues. We roll around. Are, 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 are you hearing what I'm saying? We cry. We do a lot of emotional things. But in the midst of real life situations. Let me tell you, God is my witness. You are spiritual people. Listen. The, every issue of my life, my first point of reference is God. I have convinced myself that whatever God cannot do in my life cannot be done. No. Are we together? The moment there is trouble, you are calling apostle. 
it doesn't work you call prayer department leaders doesn't work call a jimmy doesn't work call pastor alpha call him. they're just going on they are wicked no god is with you in the room there you don't believe it and you are not even interested how many people go and sit down in the offices of men from morning till evening they sit by seven till ten then the man just come and say i'm tired can you come ah, yes, yes, no problem how can i be angry because you think that the man can wipe your tears and you spend 10 minutes in the presence of god you are grumbling around and talking nonsense oh god you are my you now see why i sing that song and i will never praise you Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Listen, do you know, brothers and sisters, if not for God, the troubles I would have entered, the fulfillment of the prophecies of the enemy, Koinonia would have crashed, crashed like a plane, but for God but for God you will keep watching this ministry rise mysteriously like an edifice it's not because of perfection it's because of God when you know this you will be outspoken about God you think your business will rise because you have capital and so you will keep struggling with it there another ignorant person who respects God will come from nowhere and rise that's why you see when listen listen carefully when men are clapping and saying ah apostle did this i thank god for it oh but me and god we 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 know take god out of my life i'm as useless as this table you are seeing in the presence of anyone i'm not ashamed of it i say it everywhere because every time i declare him i bring joy to his heart and he says son you are sitting down on so much power yet you are telling men it's not you most of you will not do it let me tell you there are many of you here looking at me if you carry one tenth of the kind of anointing god has put in my heart pe people will worship you you will put your name on your shoe you will by now they would have made rapper with my face <laughs> by now you would have done everything but for him how can i dare claim that i'm responsible for this result will i be honest i may deceive you and you will believe me but I know. Listen, after great meetings like this, when I go back home, I have my small chair. I just kneel down. And sometimes you just see me hold the chair and I'm just laughing. I say, Kai God, boy, you self. Look at how these people are clapping. Sometimes the seeds that they sow into my life, I wait till these my boys that are working for me, when they go home, I scatter it on the ground and I keep looking at it. I say, but God, you know, this thing doesn't belong to me, Abby. It really belongs to you. Why will somebody walk and you pay someone else? And God says it's yours. That's your price for believing me. God first. Who deceived you that God is only for preachers? Who deceived you that God is only for pastors' wives? Please hear me. There are people here inside, outside, online. You are not determined to be passionate about God. They ask you, you say, me, I, I take my things easy. I don't overdo anything. You better overdo when it comes to God. Because life will so crush you into pieces. Life is spiritual. When I worship God, I make sure Satan sees me. Worshiping God. It's a love affair. And he's not invited. He's absolutely not invited. I sing this song not because it's a special number is a revelation to me he is my god the way hope can hold a husband and say my husband you don't claim what is not your own this water is my own right the welfare gave me if you come to touch it now i'll say you are a, you are a word what are you thief thief there is a name for that when you claim he is your god you prove it through your intimacy it's not talk what right have you to stand and say let the power of god move what right have you 
you know most people think it's just by talking now the power of god will move 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 you are you are a big joker not with god not with god you must have a track record not of perfection of passion believe me if you do not have passion for god forget about doing business with god in this kingdom i want to ask you a question when was the last time you took a day off to spend time with god don't tell me you love him let's examine it you see why it is better for some people to not get jobs because god is having their attention now that they are idle they can spend time but the moment they get up they are now in a hurry making money hurry making whatever and then the times that they now have to spend with god the devil now occupies them with something else don't look for what only god can give it's not missing stay with the door the one who has it and he will give you many preachers come to me and they say man of god i want grace i want to see results in my ministry and i look at them i say so what do you expect to happen and they just bring out of a bag you see like four or five different anointing oils and i'm not against it they bring it as a man of god just breathe on it i will carry it back and i look at the person and laugh i almost want to tell them get out of here you are joking you breathe a relationship is that how you grow your relationship time intimacy spend time with god no spend time with men yes spend time with liars and psychophants who will clap for you now and betray you and betray you unreliable as they are they will clap for you as if they love you as soon as you turn they will stab you listen i stop trusting men's sins men are as unreliable as the devil i trust god so it doesn't matter what men what they do to me everybody say god first say it, god first bless you let's look at the second part very quickly our time is gone the second mystery that commands exemption aside from putting god first in everything is the mystery of kingdom service write it down the mystery of kingdom service i'm going to be very fast please write it and we'll pray kingdom service is promoting the interest and the purposes of god on earth promoting the interest and the purposes of god on earth it's an extension of your love and your passion for god kingdom service what is kingdom service serving god for a living serving god for a living kingdom service is not just cleaning chairs no 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 serving god for a living there are three dimensions to kingdom service maybe we'll just touch one and then next week we can take the other one i wanted us to finish because we'll start a series let's see how god will help us number one the first proof or the first index to measure your kingdom service is soul winning and establishment soul winning and soul establishment Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 soul winning and soul establishment brothers and sisters is a jackpot of breakthrough look at me anybody who tells you working for God does not pay is lying to you and they that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and they that turn how many many to righteousness they shall be as the stars that's their reward for turning many to righteousness soul winning is not for evangelists proverbs chapter 11 verse 30 please give it to us quickly proverbs 11 verse 30 soul winning as a demonstration of your service to the kingdom He says and the fruit of the righteous is as a tree of life and he that winneth souls very clearly he that winneth souls is what 
wise and the bible speaking about wisdom says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness long lasting riches not 10 years and you are down forever wisdom wisdom that when you win souls it is a service to the kingdom that compels God to bless you second Corinthians chapter 5 from verse 18 to 20 very interesting scripture second Corinthians chapter 5 quickly please verse 18 to 20 the Bible tells us that God has given us both the ministry and the word of reconciliation two things both the ministry and all things are of God who had reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and had given us what's the first thing it's an assignment he didn't give pastors he gave all men the ministry of reconciliation next verse to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself not imputing their trespasses to them and had committed unto us what the word he didn't just give you the ministry he gave you the word what to say how to get men saved not just the passion and the assignment both the ministry and the word look at me one of the biggest secrets to the growth of any flourishing ministry is soul winning not revelation I don't care how deep that ministry is. A ministry that trivializes soul winning will never grow. Go and search your Bible. Search modern history. Search today. I say it without any sense of shame. Find out a ministry, no matter how deep they are in the things of God. Healing, deliverance, prophecy, revelation, whatever. If soul winning is not an outspoken priority, you never will find God trusting them with people most people think soul winning is a basic thing in christianity it's for people who don't have anything else to offer is that true what jesus died for everybody says soul winning there are some of you who can win souls and win your way out of every trouble you watch people who have not turned to righteousness you watch people you are coming for koinonia you move around and you watch lives and destinies languishing and going to hell and it doesn't bother you because you feel apostle will come and do it your passion for souls there are people here who god has lifted in strange ways they make it as a point of contact to both win souls and draw them to the house of god where they will be saved shortly i'm going to make an altar call and almost everyone who will come out here was invited by somebody you have won a soul let me tell you every time you bring a soul to god as he's getting born again start clapping it's like taking a check to a bank while you are clapping for his eternal salvation clap for yourself too because the devil is watching you have saved the soul and authorized yourself for exemption a woman can win her way out of barrenness that you sit down and say satan you claim you will not give me a child i need three children i will win five souls for every child and you go out and you win five and say that's my firstborn let's see the devil that will stop your womb from taking it if you don't have womb the baby will grow anywhere after all germs grow anywhere fibroid grows anywhere growth grow anywhere it doesn't matter where the baby grows the most important thing is that he comes out after nine months are we together koinonia is heavily protected among other things by the mystery of soul winning i have passion genuine passion for souls not fake that pastors just do and cry genuine passion for souls you are talking to somebody he says somebody else has talked has spoken to me say it doesn't matter it doesn't matter that somebody spoke to you does not mean you were born again i'm still talking to you koinonia hear me i challenge you begin a serious project of soul winning instead of gossiping on facebook 
discussing matters of people that are not your business writing things about men of god somebody i was i was i was shown somebody who tried to write a, a, some things about me thinking he knows me and i said look at do you see these foolish people he would have used that time and that unit to win a soul do you know the joy in the heart of a father when one person comes to stand before jesus listen every time we pray for crowd god sees my heart it is never for a name it is never to build an empire i'm smart enough to know how to be famous i'm intelligent enough to be able to write books souls souls that when you win souls it's on your record the bible says there is joy in heaven since you got born again let me tell you it's a shame as a believer if right from the beginning of this year till now you have not contributed in anyone's coming to the kingdom it's a shame you are doing the same thing an irresponsible man does to not bring food to a house the same way we say a man is stupid for not bringing food to his house imagine a man married and comes home empty-handed and the wife is saying honey where's the food Say, food for what that's exactly what someone does if he doesn't win souls you watch people go to hell the primary assignment god has given me is not just to build and equip believers you have to save them first before they are established facebook text messages you can find a way of reaching a soul genuinely don't just say i think he's saved and talk to him and say well you see you have to be serious with god think about it then you go back smiling you didn't save him you only informed him that his life is not going well it's a different thing if he rejects but give people a chance preach to your parents preach to your loved ones you see how we celebrate so winning here many of you when people give testimonies of cars i got a car I got a plane you clap but they say someone got born again somebody just knows oh that's all right let's hear the real testimony which one is the real one the car that will perish have you not grown spiritually enough to know how the the mundanity and the vanity of the things of this life that's why we pray for souls that's why as much as possible as much as god grants us grace we keep making altar calls even if nobody comes let there be a witness in heaven are we together some of you that's what you did that god lifted you that's how this ministry started we would pray for people those times before they got admission when people came before that was before they started post ume i remember as soon as people come we're like holding them and the next thing they get born again they get filled with the holy spirit and we create room for them to be established if you heal men and don't save them they are going to hell are you hearing what i'm telling you if you give if i give you money and you are not saved where are you going to don't say heaven don't let anyone lie to you you are going to heaven you are you don't have jesus in your heart please don't let any theologian deceive you you are going straight to hell say hell there is a real place like that people left this morning they are there right now Don't let people fool you and make it look as if the moment you're a nice person you go to heaven being nice does not take people to heaven if you cannot live your lifetime you deserve to go to hell if you live your lifetime without acknowledging the one who brought you you spent 70 years of your life and paid no attention to God This night, I want to challenge you. Your phone is full of many names that are not born again. You are looking at them and you are watching them. God has given you access and influence over their lives. Many of our loved ones are on their way to hell. We know it. We know they are on their way to hell. Our roommates are on their way to hell. Our work people are on their way to hell. Our friends your husband is on his way to hell your wife some of our stubborn children are on their way to hell you can start interceding don't say any man cannot be saved that's the talk of the devil i have seen impossible people get saved 
there's nobody I, I, I don't believe that can be saved. Do you pray for souls? Or do you pray for money? Some of you are surprised. We are supposed to be talking about wealth. I'm showing you a jackpot of financial prosperity. God is not a, a, a journey that you crack like a charm. Souls. For as long as there is breath in me, I will keep leading people to Jesus. Preacher or no preacher, I will make sure they love him. I will make sure they love him. Stop discussing other things with people and don't probe their salvation. People come to you and say, we want to marry. You talk about every other thing. There is a way you can discern, oh, this guy is saved. But there's a way you know this brother is not saved. And he's about to marry a lady he's inviting satan officially to be the lord of that home you have to save it you are not just saving a man you are saving every child that will come you know believers don't be too western to be obedient take the foolishness of the word of god and be serious on tuesday you are coming for prayer department prayer band meeting is the only department that allows other people to join them you come alone you live and you are going and you know that somebody so he, he may not be born again dear boy can be a starting point it takes a while to save souls you may not save them overnight but start introducing them to the atmosphere of god's presence the same way some of you now introduce someone here doesn't matter what religion doesn't matter what age doesn't matter what race what, what race I have little respect for any man of God that does not pay attention to the simplicity of soul winning. I don't care what you have. The greatest people, when all is said and done, he that winneth souls is wise. You have no authorization to prosper and to ex be exempted from the, the ills and the perils that will keep languishing men when you are not a soul winner. Are you blessed? We'll stop here. Next week, we'll take on the others. But listen to me very carefully. Tonight, one of the many prayers you'll be praying is to cry for grace to have a personal revelation of soul winning. I don't want you to just get emotional over what I'm saying. You don't have to get tracks and move around. It is your lifestyle. Huh? There are certain businesses that in Nigeria when the businesses came out people were too grateful to keep quiet they ran to people by themselves have you heard about this ah my life is changing and the person say I'm not listening you must listen I'm not going anywhere I love you too much to leave you that's the same way that's the same way you talk to somebody are we together the person is laughing and say see you and this your God thing we did it before we did this God thing before and tell him you need to go back. God is not a project that you do before and leave. Many of the people you preach to will tell you they were once saved. There was no follow-up system and no structure for establishment. So when the cares of life came upon them in anger, if God was God, why did he allow my wife die? If God was God, why did he allow me to fail? If God was God, why did he allow me to do this? I left God's sins and they say it. Explain the gospel to them. Let them know that there is a difference between an encounter with God and understanding his principles. Many people think the moment I come to Jesus Christ, everything will change. And be careful how you win souls. The basis of winning souls is not just to prosper them. It's a submission. It's a covenant of surrender and submission. When two people are getting married, they ask them serious questions. Will you be there for one another? Whether things go well or not. They answer yes to everything and they mean it. Don't, don't lie to people. Of course, in Christ, you have access to these things. But train people to love God more than things and situations. Don't, don't make people think immediately I run to God. Everything will change and then an attack starts on account of their decision and they no longer can stand there are many people who have been of other religions here some of them are here listening to me they have made bold decisions for jesus 
and some of them we have had to come in even as a ministry to shield and help them because they they have gone and some are still going through heavy pain they deserted them financially left them for whatever reason but because they were saved well they were saved to love and live for jesus i love you jesus i worship and adore you i just want to tell you that i love you more than anything before i make an altar call while everybody is seated i want you to cry pray while you are seated cry to god with every passion in you and say lord i am sorry for ignoring souls i've been trying to do ministry and i've watched people go to hell there are people who if i had spoken to them last week last month pray lord you gave me an anointing i've been joking with it just throwing people on the floor and not paying attention to their salvation you gave me a ministry i've been playing games with it watching people look warm and unserious with god brothers and sisters let's be sincere with ourselves that's not how we started that's not how we started with god we started with the simplicity of passion for souls pray talk to god they call you pastor's wife and you were ashamed and you stopped ah They insulted you and embarrassed you and you were ashamed then you stopped outside are you praying Lord fresh passion to engage the mysteries that will exempt me from trouble from the grip of witchcraft from destruction That my life will cause men to love God. My life will cause men to be on fire. How can I be in an environment? No one is changing. No one is serious. No one's prayer life is rising. No one's word life is growing. Never transfer the message to anybody. You've never bought a Bible for anyone never done anything to contribute to the salvation of anyone you're not acting as a genuine christian believe me brothers and sisters yet you want the anointing yet you want to be invited for crusades do you want the name or do you love god do you want the fame or do you love god do you just want the prestige and the personal or are you genuinely passionate in this place here and now lord your kingdom reign your kingdom reign in our lives in our homes your kingdom reign your kingdom reign through my life through my life i let your kingdom reign your kingdom reign through my life through my life tonight i let your kingdom reign your kingdom
about fame and go for souls and watch the wonder God will do with your life. Forget about complaining for a husband or a wife and go for souls. Forget about the witchcraft in your family. I know you were born with witchcraft. I know there are practicing people who are manipulating your destiny. Leave them alone and go for souls. And let me see the charm that will tie you down. Souls. Don't just pay tight. Don't just sow seeds. Win souls. Win souls. Win souls. You are too big to win souls. You are too big to be exempted. You are too big to turn many to righteousness. You are too big to receive the defense of God against the vicissitudes of life. But apostle, I'm a shy person. That's why there is grace for you. But apostle, I'm not a man of God. The great commission is not for men of God, my friend. Prayer point number two. Lord, every soul appointed to be saved through my life, in the name of Jesus, I begin to seek them and pursue them. Every soul appointed. There is somebody that must escape hell because I am alive. Lord, where are they? Reveal them to me and give me the grace to haunt them. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray, Koinonia. Who have you appointed to be saved through my life? Lord, who have you appointed to be saved through Koinonia? Who have you appointed to be saved to be serious with God through our teachings Jesus said all that you have given me I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition that scriptures may be fulfilled and none is lost and none is lost hallelujah before I make the altar call I want you to take two minutes find somebody that is serious and I want you to intercede for your family members and say I stop them from going to hell Lord they can't go to hell I know as at now my father is not yet a Christian but Lord eternity in hell have mercy pray my brother my husband my wife pray for those who are saved too and are not serious there are people saved but not serious Save, but not passionate. save them oh god we release angels angels of salvation draw them to meetings draw them to crusades draw them to meetings we release angels of salvation lord give them dreams may they have encounters with jesus in their sleep may they have an encounter with jesus in their offices it's time for their salvation hallelujah hallelujah we are rounding up we are going to pray for salvation through encounters that's the strange dimension the spirit of god is moving right now where men by themselves are in a room all of a sudden they are caught up an encounter that will rattle every stubbornness lift your voice and cry lord we release encounters this night dreams this night visions this night encounters in the beer parlor encounters in public places encounters in business board meetings Encounters. Hey, 
While he's preparing to go for arm robbery, encounters on the road, encounters with Jesus. The last prayer point you are going to pray and say lord i have made you first in my life and i'm committed to serving you therefore i invoke exemption upon my life i no longer will cry their cry prophesy it i no longer will go through their pain no glorious exemption from poverty Glorious exemption from sickness. Glorious exemption from failure. Are you praying? May that mystery be activated in my life. May that mystery be activated. Surely they will gather. But by this mystery, they will scatter. They will come in one way. And the Lord will disperse them in seven ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. I prophesy upon everyone here as you are laying your hands the same way a mark was put by God to Cain and said by this mark you anyone who sees you will leave you in peace he did it to a sinner Cain he put a mark right now in the name of Jesus as you are placing your hand on your head Shadaka to Katabara I place a mark of exemption upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hear me if the devil is looking for men to kill in a car accident it will not it will be minus you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me when the devil is fermenting trouble to destroy families cause scandal between husband and wife cause scandal between pastor and whatever in the name of jesus minus you you are exempted in the name of jesus hear me the same way god has exempted this ministry from financial turmoil and recession i pray upon you beginning from this night every time a man is looking for who to favor i command them to find you dimensions of him to find expression is a prize to create that atmosphere but if and when you do then there is no limit to his outstretched arm if and when you do the prize 
is the alignment and the discernment to be able to set that atmosphere are we together now and when that atmosphere is set and then he comes then he reveals Jesus in a remarkable way spirit of the living God we thank you mighty things you will do mighty things you will do we honor you and we bless you in the name of Jesus God bless you please be seated for a few minutes our time is gone there's so much to do hallelujah can we honor all those who have led prayers worship great people bless our worship team international is the name hallelujah amen ah this is a big shock i'm just realizing oh my god please let's honor reverend ubandoma and his lovely wife thank you thank you so much hallelujah please be seated i was hinted he would be around but i didn't know it would be for the video too bless you sir bless you man amen let's look at um a few things i just um want to encourage us on a few things and then we'll pray john 14 verse 12 thank you jesus those following us online the lord bless you the lord will honor you and touch you and um, those outside there's so many people overflow one two three four by the road may the lord honor you and bless you in the name of jesus christ let me just take a minute or two to inspire and encourage someone um, i just felt it really strong while i was preparing to come before we look at that scripture you can leave it up there but you see let me teach you something about commanding results among the many factors that are responsible please listen among the many factors that are responsible for producing results you need a very strong sense of desire and determination no one ever succeeds becoming passive careless and um, less as fair about life there is a level of passion and commitment you must communicate whether it is the pursuit of spiritual things your finances your life ministry business whatever it is success will always find expression in an environment where passion desire you know lots of believers want great things they want to step into deep dimensions of intimacy with the holy spirit many people want to walk in miracles signs and wonders they want very superior dimensions of the spirit manifested in their lives but largely our the communication of our desire and our determination the staying power the capacity to remain until that dimension is unfolded in your life i think that that is where many of us believers need to make a lot of adjustments we are generally very passive very very passive and very quite careless over the communication of our determination for spiritual things and you see the thing about god is it takes a level of desire god loves everybody he does not trust everybody trust is based on a track record a track record of hunger a track record of a, a predeterminate desire in your heart many of us have come here tonight i came i saw people outside you know some lying flat trusting god for a miracle probably they were carried here you know and all of that there must be a desire you may not have the power in yourself to lift yourself up from the wheelchair or from the crutch or whatever it is but you must communicate that passion i love the people who led the prayers they kept adjusting our faith to understand that look it will take a hunger and a desire the moment you have options then forget about encounters are we together you have to insist tonight and say lord 
I'm not walking out of here barren. I'm not walking out of here sick. I'm not walking out of here with the same level of confusion. I'm not walking out of here bankrupt of that dimension of the anointing. I came with an exact desire, an exact intention. And whenever you insist, you provoke the hand of God. This is very true. Psalm 30. Look at 37. I think it should be 37. It just came to my spirit. I'm searching for that scripture now. Yeah. Delight yourself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the what? The desires of thy heart. It is possible for God to come to a man. And not be able to communicate anything because there is no desire. Are we together now? Now you see God is almighty. His possibilities are endless. It takes the construction that our faith builds. To channel the dimension of him that we seek to see revealed in our lives. Are we together now? If you're not barren, there is no need God coming to reveal himself as one who can open up your womb. You're not barren. That dimension of him is possible, but it is not needed as far as your desires are concerned. So it is the responsibility of the believer to intentionally use your faith to create an exact expectation. Lord, I am trusting that you will visit me. I am crippled. I am trusting that this leg will work. Lord, there are all kinds of oppression in my life. All doors have been closed. I'm trusting that the doors will open. You cannot say, Lord, just come, do whatever you want to do. That's not a very wise prayer. You have to define. He said, give us this day. He didn't just say what we want. Give us this day our daily bread. He can give many things. He sent quails. He sent bread. He brought water out of the rock. There are several things he can do. You define the possibilities of God that should be communicated to you through your faith. But much more than just blind faith through specificity. Specificity of desire. Specificity of um, intention. Are we together now? So I just thought that it is very important. In fact, this is a general principle that works in life. Not just when it comes to receiving from God. You will never achieve anything when there is no exact desire. You will never achieve anything when there is no specificity there has to be that dimension of exactness lord i am trusting you for a move of the spirit in my life i'm trusting you that my ministry will step into another dimension i'm trusting you that my family will step into another dimension end the plague of sickness and all kinds of things when you connect this way then it becomes impossible for you to walk without a miracle hallelujah praise the lord let me encourage our hearts this morning before we rise up john 14 verse 12 i am a firm believer in the bible the words of jesus are no story to me when i read them i believe them they are not just scripture they are life i believe them exactly as they are written jesus is teaching here and this is what he says verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me Whoever believes on me, he says, the works that I do, he shall also do. And greater works than this shall he do because I go to the Father. Jesus, now there are all kinds of theological debates as to what exactly Jesus was talking about. Um, many people meant a higher dimension of reality. Other people talk of greater results. Regardless of what dimension you look at it, Jesus was saying there is a possibility of walking in a dimension that you were not born with. Listen carefully. A dimension that is God's own class of results. Are we together now? He's teaching us how to live a life that is invincible. And this is what he says. He says that greater dimensions that you have seen manifest, you will walk in. And you see, every time God speaks, before he utters a word, he vets and probes himself whether he has the capacity to make good that word. Every time he speaks, it is a communication of a, a resolve. He has searched and he has found out that what he's saying is within his capacity to produce it. There are several people in need of the touch of God people talk about anointing all the time want to step into deeper dimensions 
they want to tap into the wave of revival that is sweeping across cities and by the way i want you to know that there is a mighty move of god that is happening across the continent of africa specifically nigeria um, away with all those blind talks that people talk as if nothing is happening it takes the eye of the spirit to see the formation there is a mighty mighty move of the spirit an awakening that is sweeping across and what a joy it is to participate in contributing our quota to that 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 unstoppable tsunami that will sweep across the nations of the earth the, the word of god is full of prophecies that points to those seasons that a time will come in the dealings of god with men where they will be able to tap into higher dimensions of his possibility they will be able to cause his glory to be revealed across territories in measures and dimensions that have not been previously known so i want you to believe up front that we are a people who believe all of god and we are a people who have aligned ourselves to allowing god find full expression there is no limit to the dimension of god that can be revealed every time god looks limited the limitation is not his capacity it is our inability to understand his system and to align enough to bring down to be able to host all the multifaceted possibilities that are contained in him are we together now and tonight there are several cases right from home i began to see several situations that touched my heart and i said lord you can't let your people go that way and the lord put something in my heart that i just want to share with us very briefly and then we'll pray i have a passion and a commitment to helping people have an encounter a true encounter not just a noise making encounter an encounter with a definite result that you will leave and it will be very clear that heaven found expression in your life heaven found expression in your situation heaven found expression that your life will be an epistle to let people know that jesus is not limited in any way if you believe that say amen, amen. hallelujah first john chapter 5 and verse 4 apostle john taught us something very remarkable first john chapter 5 and then verse 4 and he said for whatsoever is born of god whatsoever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world are we together now that's the expression there whatever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world but then he says that that overcoming is engaged through a system the dear lady who led prayer here taught us about spiritual intelligence are we together every time you see possibilities in scripture now there are two dimensions i've taught you of accessing the reality of scripture there is the prophetic dimension realities as far as god's dimension is concerned but there is the experience of it where it becomes manifest in your life on the strength of your engaging the required mysteries that demonstrate your partnership with god to actualize it are we together now so here the bible says whatsoever is born of god overcomes the world the rendition there is has capacity enshrined in it is the composition to overcome this system and all the limitations that come with it and then he says and this is the victory in other words this is the system wherewith the victory was designed to find expression he says even our faith even our faith even our faith it takes faith in this kingdom to be able to produce realities that have been represented in scripture realities that are capable of being our testimony the fact that the bible records them does not mean they will happen automatically i think this is one of the biggest challenges to the body of christ i don't think we are unaware of the provisions that are guaranteed from scripture but the systems everybody says systems say it one more time systems the systems of the kingdom that were built around those possibilities the inability to access what system was designed to produce what outcome will make us continue to look at scripture and believe they are there but never walk in the experience of it 
it is God's desire not only that we read the Bible and see possibilities written therein but that our lives become epistles that those realities that are represented in the Bible must find expression in my life and your life when the bible says that a believer should walk in miracles signs and wonders we can read it we can write books about it but there is is an entirely different thing to engage the systems required to bring that individual into an experience of it are we together the bible says for instance they shall lay hands on the sick many people have tried it they laid hands on the sick and the sick were not healed every time you try a thing and it does not work there is something you do not understand about what you study that's why it takes a spirit of revelation ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 the prayer of paul to the church you don't have to turn there he cried they were born again they were believers but he knew that they needed to be assisted by a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit otherwise they would never enter into the experience of the kingdom Nicodemus came to Jesus by night chapter 3 of John and he says verse 1 rabbi he says we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things and then he said unto him in verse 3 he says verily verily I say unto you except a man be born again listen carefully he says he cannot see the kingdom then the next verse Nicodemus says how can, how can a man be born for a second time can he enter back into his mother's womb and then verse 5 he opens up, up to another dimension he says verily verily I say unto you except a man listen be born of what water and the spirit then he says he cannot enter so he talks of seeing the kingdom an awareness of the possibilities that are there you know that there is a provision in the dealings of God with men for the sick to be healed there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men are immune from the ability of sicknesses to touch them there is a provision where we are lifted above the grip of 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 demons and devils but it's one thing to have that awareness listen believers but it's another thing to understand the systems and the mysteries that were attached to be able to cause us to walk in the experience of that outcome so we we hold several scriptures that we cannot defend with our lives there is a possibility for restoration but what is the key that is attached i am passionate about revealing to believers the mysteries that are responsible for causing spiritual realities to become their experience just like shortly we're going to be celebrating the victory miracles upon miracles but the issue is not just an anointed man the issue is that underlying these miracles and testimonies and the manifestations of the grace and the power of god are vessels that have aligned themselves through understanding you see most of us um the theology about faith listen carefully the theology about faith that is being communicated as powerful as it is may limit us from walking in the experience of the power the grace and the revelation of all that is contained in god faith is not just believing unseen things um they don't have to be unseen faith it's not just believing on seeing things so that they will manifest that's a dimension of it but faith listen true bible faith the foundation for true bible faith starts with an encounter an encounter without an encounter you will not have true bible faith an encounter is not a vision an encounter is an experience that is initiated by the holy spirit that causes a spiritual truth a reality the reality of a scripture to be crystallized in your heart the end of an encounter is conviction the end of an encounter is conviction you'll never be able to walk in a dimension where you are guessing and hoping and wondering no sir encounters are necessary for believers that's why the holy spirit was given to us the spirit of truth are we together now 
so he introduces encounters in our lives you can read the bible and quote a scripture it doesn't mean you've had an encounter with that scripture you may even learn it and know it off heart sincerely speaking it has not been released in your heart but when the holy ghost breathes upon it it does something to you and that scripture comes alive it's called an encounter occasionally it may be backed up by visionary experiences to strengthen your conviction but the end of encounters is that you get to a point of persuasion unbending resolve persuasion about the possibility of god as far as that matter is concerned are we blessed second timothy please chapter 1 and verse 12 let's look at second timothy 1 verse 12 the b part second timothy chapter 1 and verse 12 the b part says for i know whom i have believed everybody say i know whom i have believed now you went to school understand that construction it didn't say i have believed uh -uh. i know whom so it's talking about a person first I had an encounter and that encounter caused me to believe that person and everything that proceeds from him are we together now and then he says and i am persuaded that he that person i've had an encounter with is able 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 an understanding of a man's ability an understanding of God's ability I have had an encounter with him I have had an encounter with his word so when I read and he says they shall lay hands on the sick it's not just story it's not just religion this is the foundation of true Bible faith so there are no options in it again you know that it is within his power to change my situation you don't say well lord i will try you let me hope that you will work today if you don't work no 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 there is a level a level of resilience you see the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions it's obvious from the way we live and act as believers that there is a void there is a lapse in conviction and this is a product of um the haze that is around our encounters with the word of god not the reading of it not the memory of it but that there is a gap it is obvious if i look at this gentleman right now and i tell you do you know you are sitting on the ground he's not going to pray about it he knows he's sitting on a seat are we together he's had an encounter with that seat his his even his physical senses have have responded to that reality he knows he's sitting no matter how i try to sway him he has entered a dimension of resolve he knows he's sitting on a seat if i tell him this seat is going to break he says no not just that i, I have seen the dimensions i understand the strength of this seat it can take my weight listen God allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust. God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys. They are fierce. And so is it okay if I ask for a sign? It is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced. I know that there are people here, pastors who have come from several places. Let me challenge you. Do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter you will destroy your life you will destroy your ministry you will lack explanations you will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life i always say never stand before pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush say encounters bible faith starts with encounters encounters produce convictions convictions now allow you to act and take steps it is that step that is called faith hello believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith 
is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word. That's faith. Until action is taken, there is no faith. Are we together now? I've always given this example. Um, let me use you, John. Hold on. I'm going to stand there. Stand there. Just stand there. I'm going to call John. I want you to answer me, but don't come. Is that all right? John, come. Say, I'm coming. Has he come? So as far as I'm concerned, you have not obeyed me because this should be the reward for your obedience. Now, you have answered that you are coming, but you have not come. I interpret your not coming as a sign that you, you are expressing concern about my reliability. You are wondering if I really have this. But if I say, John, come, and you come, come. That step of faith puts pressure on my integrity. If I am joking, I better found a way of correcting it. Are we together now? Yes. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4, listen. The Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer. And then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled. Now, they were not stupid. That man was crippled. If you've seen a crippled man, you know that there are no strength in his limbs. Even if he stands, you know that he will take the grace of God. And then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms. And then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. He said, but such as I have. Listen, I give unto you. He says, in the name of Jesus, I come under an authority. I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government. And I ask you, if you believe, stand. The Bible says the man was still looking at them. Now, I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities, but at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith. And then the Bible says Peter had to help him. Hold my hands. The Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping, leaping. The power is released at the point of action. It is the action that makes it faith. Not the determination to act. The determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith. But the faith is only when action is taken. He leaping stood. He leaping stood. He would have remained there forever. He leaping stood. Are we together now? Yes. So when, when, when you hear the word of God, you see this is why the dispensing of the word of God is so important. Because faith is based on a basis. And the basis is not good word. The basis is not good intention. A nice positive statement cannot give you faith. It does not have the capacity to release that. God is only committed to backing what is his word. Are we together now? If it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word, there is no platform. You may act, but you are not acting upon the word. You are acting upon an information. So the word of God comes. And then you hear that word listen like you are hearing right now and you believe and the holy ghost helps your own belief he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that god is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barring and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you are seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone 
brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe I, I believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again are we together confession is a generic action that ought, it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the lord your tithe are we together now no matter how much you confess your heavens opening you must take that action and if you take that action not believing you just dropped money you drop 10 percent of an amount it's not a charm the power is released through understanding i am coming because i have an understanding i have a comprehension of what i am doing and lord i thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven hebrews 7 and verse 8 the bible says here on earth men gave tithes but in heaven he received them talking about the system with which god performs that function of his office that is in the order of melchizedek right like he received the tithe of abraham and spoke a blessing upon abraham so he our melchizedek our high priest receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives but that will never happen just by dropping money it's not about the money there is an understanding so your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens are we together now you pray and fast it is spiritual but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to so it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by god's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire are we together one time jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam. that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising god and danced there for one day he would never be open he would, the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we start scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience 
either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir it will always come from god through men to you are we together jesus went to certain cities and the bible says he could not do mighty works that was not the limitation of his power it was not the limitation of his spirit but the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire tonight listen ladies and gentlemen god did not gather us here to waste our time it is within his power to change our lives it is within his power to wipe our tears are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away There are people here with sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, real sicknesses. Probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals. And um, maybe they've told you you have a few months to live. You have a few weeks to live. Now, and of course, we have a lot of doctors here. I respect their opinion. That's their opinion. Is their educated opinion. But tonight whose report will you believe i believe in jesus i believe in his words there are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues husband is about to go wife is about to go children are haywire and they are trusting lord would you give us order of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um in the course of the week and um when i went there i was i was counseling a few people and then i saw a young lady i think a, a couple or so i can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time i was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting god for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes i don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth 
you know, to a very bouncing, healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing. Listen, be careful what you believe. It is within your power to choose what you believe. Nothing forces itself on you. You can choose. This is a wonderful thing. This is a fact, but I choose to reject it. It's a choice. Anything that is not consistent with the counsel of God, it is within your power to choose to reject it. Are we together? There are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges. No job, no lifting, all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with God's desire. How about demonic patterns, mysterious occurrences in the lives of people? Patterns that you cannot account for. God wants to step in. There are people here, and I believe this probably affects a lot of people, especially with the recession. The reality of lack and poverty. Lord, what is the way out? Lord, what is the way out? I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth. We've shared extensively. There are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom and I would plead that you get those teachings they are free because when it comes to prosperity the gospel has to be taught there is an understanding that must be built in your mind now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen there are people here trusting God for direction. You have come confused, not knowing what to do. You thought you had God, but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you. I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction. And finally, all of these are lists that the Spirit of God was just writing out for me as I, I mean just stating out as I, I, I wrote them out. And lastly, there are people here trusting God for very strong impartations. What is an impartation? A transference of possibilities. Transference of possibilities. Impartation is as real as the chair you are sitting on. You can transfer possibilities. Possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibility see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this i want you to know that the god of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight the lord is going to be healing the sick the lord is going to be setting the captives free and like i told us last week it is also an anointing service and i don't i don't do anointing services carelessly but there are instructions that god gave me the anointing oil that will be used tonight the lord asked me it's been with me since uh, i think yesterday i prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it. There is a heavy grace. Oil does not anoint. The oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed. Nothing is anointed on its own. It has to be anointed to become a platform. Are we together now? Tonight, what is your responsibility? Be convicted. Be persuaded that God is able. All that has happened before now, the prayers, the testimonies, and all of that is to build your faith. Some of you are coming here for the first time. You've heard about the miracles. Many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God. Everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing. We have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake. Everybody is a devil. Everybody is using charm. You know, I humorously said it last week. Uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people 
I'm honored every time I have the opportunity to minister. There are people streaming from all over the world with different issues. Several nations, at least 47 or so nations of the world, if I'm not mistaken, connecting. And God cannot be joking. He's not playing games with us. Are we together? Everybody say, I believe. Say, Lord, tonight, I believe you. I know you are able. And I trust you to step in. In the name of Jesus. It will be for you like day and night. Just all of a sudden, you will find out that that door that has been closed, maybe forever. Listen, it doesn't take time. Time is not in the equation. I've taught you this. Time is never in the equation. The anointing of the Spirit is not a suggestion. The anointing of the Spirit is God's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with. Are we together now? We are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men. This is not some kind of superior science. This is not superior spiritism. We are talking of God showing up in the scene. Standing face to face with a man's barrier. Hallelujah. I want you to be angry tonight. And insist. Thank you. And say Lord that door must be open. I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while. That you get up in the morning and within three days, one door opens, another door opens, another dimension of encounter. All of a sudden, hunger. All of a sudden, you step back to your church and fire on the altar. I mean, just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles, signs and wonders. You bless people, you shake someone's hand, and all through that day, a door opens. You introduce something. I believe it. I believe it. The Lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural. Supernatural. Not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results. Literally, that your life becomes a testament. That they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas. And they called them Zeus and Hermes. Greek gods. Because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men. Listen, believe it. Believe it, brothers and sisters. Yokes are breakable. Causes are destroyable. Limitations are breakable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you overcome. The victor. You are the victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive the spirit and the bride telling the word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit, 
communicates to the bride and the bride in partnership with the spirit says come come lord jesus come miracles come breakthroughs come deliverances come open doors come speed come speed loose chains loose bands god is a mighty god do not allow your situations diminish the power of god it doesn't take time the level of grace it takes to produce your results is available mm. it's available i've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit number one is through encounters when you have an encounter something is deposited into you number two by obedience to principles there is a dimension of god's power that is deposited in principles whether a believer or an unbeliever whoever activates those principles that dimension of his power is released immediately like the power of seed time and harvest is not for christians a dimension of god's power was encapsulated in that principle but the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with god men have covenant with god not old and new their dealings with god have brought them to a point where god has vow a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with god and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victors round you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victors round you overcome you overcome let me tell you something that happened yesterday i didn't plan to share it but but something happened i was sleeping and i had a dream i thought it was a dream yesterday now while i was sleeping i had a dream and then because i had kept the jar of oil and i opened the cover and then i had a dream now you know i don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people and i had the, a dream and then the lord was telling me you know I should how i'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you and then something strange happened i just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and i looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the lord says i should put my hand on this jar this jar and i tell you i was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time i noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up i don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me i started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and i was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left i just locked the door and i sat down and boom my room was full of god's presence and all of that and, and i i when i sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden i saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then i knew that god by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute and say, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. 
Enkreto kata la brande sekete prakata la badash. Jabrete kete prosko do brandi gedi balash. Jabrende skaria da balara balara bosh. Mambroto sodo prakata barada balana balada. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah. We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows. All the overflows. One, two, three. By the grace of God. And He will grant us grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Please bring the three people now that the power of God comes. I'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here, all inside here now. Will you open up the gate? Yeah. Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Open up the door. Open up the door. Open up the gate. Open up the door. Open up the door. Open up the door. Open up the door. Open I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys. We know this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One. Two, three, take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Shake it, take it, take it, folks. Right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapato skelataria. Mente kotos shotos e prekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Breakthroughs. Shapos katala tosia. E prekete ketos. Shakatos setash. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. This is a baptism. Keys. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a bunch of keys. Lord Jesus, for your glory, let the closed door open at the count of three. One, two, three. The name that is above all names. Access in the realm of the spirit. I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Access to dimensions, access to levels, access to possibilities. Era 
Close doors opening. The Lord showed me gates. And I decree those gates are opening. 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 Opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I decree and declare the opening of strange gates. The opening of strange gates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to do a quick walk. Please clear this way for me. There are two angels that stand before me now, my left and my right, and the Lord is asking me to pass round and come. I will do that very quickly. As I do that, the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Miracles, miracles, miracles by the power of the Holy Ghost. Supernatural miracles. Take them out. In the name of Jesus. Shepakatos soto pakaratos. Shebres kete kata. Lembre kete kato soto bash. Miracles in the name of Jesus. Miracles, 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 miracles. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Miracles in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Step into anointings. Step into graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the Spirit of the Living God. There are chains I'm seeing on people's hands. Chains, 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 chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Get ready, this road. I see chains, 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 chains. Let it break now. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shadow Sotosh Kalai. Rakataka, let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken. Broken, 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 broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus, broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 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 I'm seeing the hand of the Lord, a wind of His Spirit coming here. Lord, what is happening here in the name of Jesus? Shebas kotos kaba, embreke to shedele keta, brata soto shopres keya, and brata ya. I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit, out of a pit, out of a pit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare. I decree and declare, captivity ended. In the name of Jesus. Make a parato kotosh. Leke te kata. Prakato sotosh. Empre te kete karatosh. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring lives now. That demonic ring lives now. I see it by the spirit. That demonic ring lives now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. I see rings. Rings, I cause it by the God of heaven. I cause it in the name of Jesus. Ataparatoshi, ente karato kotoba, shekretos kilabaya, embreketo koshubreke. Can I go out? Brata karoto shubreke deka. Those outside, I want you to get ready. 
There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying, I should stretch my hands here. This media place, in the name of Jesus. Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit. Now, be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit. The Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil. Madam, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is saying you in your tears. I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is touching some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. Yes, I'll see in this young man. Be God now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, out now, out now, out now, out now, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, look at me, my dear. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your sins are over, over. In the name of Jesus, over now. In the name of Jesus. No matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit in this. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here, I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here, God wants to now declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands. Now, listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this, four now, three, overflow, eight. at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus, something is going to happen right to the back, I'm seeing fire, one, two, three, now, 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 cause those spirits, I release breakthroughs now, in this overflow, in the name of Jesus, to the back, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, I'm seeing several of you inside pits. Come out now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on. Be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is something. God is touching you. The first four rows inside. Inside the main building. First four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let, let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. 
God is bringing deliverance, where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to I see a lot of witchcraft in your family and the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside, came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No, wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome, I'm standing close to you. Salome, come, stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? Is well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Two of you. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. That's the end of it. Lord, I set them free. Help them under the anointing. Please, there is somebody. The Spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what God is people outside. There is somebody around here. I want to prophesy to the person. Bring the person. That's the person. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm seeing a snake. My God, my God, I'm seeing a not not this person. I'm seeing a snake, and the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm Lord, that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to. Has to be free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Here it is. It's coming now. I see like light coming on someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I set you free. I'm ministering to people. Kauna. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please to very fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oga, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I've seen a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now. This very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus. It's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I will walk into the front and then I will come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. 
please just allow me to do my thing let's just do it very because we're going to pray for the sick all these people lying shortly i'm going to ask all of you to sit no that anybody on a wheelchair or on a your th stand up right now when i ask you to stand you will stand up and take away whatever you came with hallelujah hallelujah hold on um my god i'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me it's just a communication a channel for the lord to touch you come um the man what is you are holding the lord is saying what are you looking for you are looking for a job huh and the lord is saying i should release a job to your life you believe that receive your job now in the name of jesus christ lift your hands father i pray spirit of the living god that you will blow upon this place as i pass this place let no yoke let no chain stand in the name of jesus them now in the name of jesus i bring you life by the power spirit the life of the life of god by the power of spirit lives life right now in the name of jesus christ every darkness leaves. every trace of that leaves. leaves 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 now leaves now 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 leaves now in the name of jesus christ every trace of darkness must go now in the name of Jesus Christ it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost it must go now it must go now someone with pile is being healed now somewhere here someone with pile is being healed now someone with pile you're going to feel like fire going through your body we we'll pray for the sick shortly be healed now fire is on your head be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a yoke of delay here this road somebody somebody has to be free now in the name of Jesus Christ let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost it's to a new level in the name of Jesus the Lord is renewing 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 I hear renewal in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here and he wants to touch somebody right now in the name of Jesus let it be over let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost right now please help them my God my sister you are praying and i'm hearing your prayer come you are telling the lord to visit you i'm hearing your prayers in my ears and the lord is saying i should that he should give you a visitation who is this my children this is your husband yes sir where is he is he breathing? i want to pray for you i don't like what i see right the lord is going to set them free because i've seen everything is tied down for this family nothing is working yes, sir. is that true the lord is going to step in now at those states at those states are from Edo state but the spirit of god is showing me in the name of jesus christ i'm pray for you this father let there be a miracle right now i end it now in the name of jesus christ I end it right now in the name of Jesus Christ my God now see this thing the Lord shows me all the time please everybody lift your hands inside or outside lift your hands now I'm seeing a map I don't know why God always shows me this I'm seeing a map and the Spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State now everyone from Benway State get ready the anointing of God comes upon you now Benway State Benway State the Lord is setting people free. Benway State, right now. Shekratos, Kalatos, inside and outside. Benway State. Benway State, inside, outside. Benway State. I see breakthroughs coming. 
Benway State, anointing Mata Lakota is a sign and a wonder that the Lord does where he locates people by state, locates people by state and pray now. If you're in Benway State, this unction is on you. The work is on you inside. My God, I'm seeing people inside, inside the main auditorium. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. I'm hearing or to go or to go breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs or to go shakato sekete e greto shalabariata embrakato shataya la kosata. Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus there are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 Jacob 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 you're, I'm standing close to you and your name is Jacob lift your hands it's over now forever over in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the there's somebody praying in this room the power of God is coming on him now someone is praying a prayer in the name of Jesus you are stepping into a level the spirit of wisdom is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ is it Asabe Asabe I'm hearing the name Asabe quickly I want to see how God will grant us grace this evening there are so many sick people we have to pray for asabe is it asabe i'm hearing asabe in the name of jesus christ look at me my dear look at my eyes my eyes look at my eyes break every chain break every chain visit our family oh god once and for all let this be the season 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma I'm talking the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you're writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will, he will, he will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You are from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside. Ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people. Southern Kaduna. Miracles. Miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover. The cover of a well being opened. In the name of Jesus, let it be. By the spirit of the living God. By the spirit of the living God. By the spirit of the living God.
Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end. In the name of Jesus Christ, captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotas. Embre kete shala pradosa subriada. Shala brinde keto prasada banana ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy, Italy, a country, Italy. Who has a relative in Italy? You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My elder sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yes, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is is These are not just miracles. They are called signs and wonders. They are operations of the Spirit. You can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the Spirit. It's not some magic. These are operations. These are superior dimensions of the operation of the Spirit of the living God. I want to pray for the lady in Italy. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now. A miracle right now. Something is leaving you, even you who is standing. This has caused delay in your life. The Lord is about to give you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a, you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ, the same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. In the name of Jesus, you play football. Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe, the devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal, prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. 
seven months pregnant. Come. You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where's your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands, they send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand in your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ. And I curse the works of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I'm seeing fire. It's like it's looking for someone in this room. This is something that has to do with someone's family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just this room. Because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The power of God will come upon whoever that person is. And that will end it right now end it right now family god is touching the families in the name of jesus it is not by power it's not by might it's by the spirit of god it's not by power in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me someone's prayer request prayer point number one let my sister have a child who is that prayer point number one you are wearing red Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three years. Did she have a child before? No, but my brother has. Did she take in before? No. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing me. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, there is not necessary. Hold on, I'm not just praying for barren people at random, but just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai, please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes, uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things, but this guy, your own is acute. You are here. 
but truthfully speaking you cannot help you can take as much of that thing till it destroys you i'm even seeing that you have some i don't know whether it's at home please who is that don't be embarrassed the lord wants to set you free if you sit down that's your that's that's for you. whether you're inside outside make your way don't be ashamed just come out here i want to pray for you now my dear i want you to call where are they who, who are you standing in for Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. you no, you're the my sister. your sister okay i want to pray the person i'm talking about please summon the courage to stand here i want to pray for you I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. Yeah, he has two children. How, how many two children? One. Hold on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, Two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes uh huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves you see those leaves there is a lady come and join him i'm seeing a lady don't be embarrassed please jesus is setting you free there is a lady you can't help yourself this is not the issue of being good or bad please run boldly and come if you waste our time you just sit where you are one lady there is a lady this thing has destroyed not like you like it but you can't help it it comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come my dear let's pray we have to pray for the sick now in the name of jesus christ i agree with you i terminate the yoke of barrenness right now sister and brother in the name of jesus they take in now you're here for the same reason you're here for the same reason in the name of jesus you're standing for yourself your sister if i ask for people who have who want children except you are standing for somebody if you are standing for yourself make sure you are you have a husband or a wife praise god we, we are bible believers but we are not stupid people make sure you are married officially because i know that there are people who just live together um you don't you don't love god and then we have to stay of course god is merciful the Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There's no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the mercies of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady. Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is, you understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on, don't worry. Uh, we are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? 
Yeah. It's, from, staring it's at from me. It's from Benue State, sir. Eh? It's from Benue State. It's from Benue. You see how the guy yes, is staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what you are saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long distance stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy he's a nice person this this is what we we and co can do let's pray let's pray my friend don't worry we are praying for you eh? it's not just you stretch your hands saints of god you are anointed let's pray for him lord help this gentleman please i still insist this lady if god grants you grace in the name of jesus christ i pray for you we love you and in the name of jesus we pray for you sincerely by the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we will pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We are still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? Sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear. Come. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes this thing. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Eh? Come. You're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen. Let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady you can see, very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like. Some of them, it may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, maturity does not deliver people from spirits. You can be growing older and still remain. You believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you'll try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges, their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, huh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? you will follow up this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies, it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it, in the name of love, in the name of relationship, 
and, and in the name of wanting to marry you, they derail you from the path of God. Anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person. That prayer has already been answered. The answer is no. Leave the person quickly. Don't say I'm waiting on God. God is not a fool. Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details. And your Rebecca, all of you, three of you, I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name. Over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that your song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana, Gamuna, Gashina, Gashina, Gamuna. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. And let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction and my God what a joy to life stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ Jabratos Kalabrendegevasarabakuriatakatash Jabratos Osobredishikaratafuya stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Mandala Kapratos Katafredish Kalabraniakata unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for we agree for wonders. Man tekalas kotambriata to siziata kataloka rusia. Bredo go shobra diskala brata katafaradash. Le katabrando susi briata. E kata. Jabrata shebrega de bosh. Pray. We receive miracles, we receive signs, we receive wonders. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release miracles to families, release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. Shapra kapara koto sobrigedia. Rabadaga da balada koso sobriada balada bosh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we decree and declare. Agree with me. Right now, let every impossible situation turn into a miracle. Right now. Jekoto sopakuta priyakata kaso degedia. Lord. This is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world. Lord, we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. 
we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus visit the barren heal the sick deliver the oppressed wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word let there be miracles we release miracles 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 in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you we thank you we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now we're getting to the last phase we're going to pray on this hallelujah let me tell you something about this oil you are seeing is is truly an oil of wonder I spent uh, the night praying no oil in itself is anointed please be careful don't hurt her don't ah uh, hold on <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her my dear be comfortable okay this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um if she doesn't feel the strength to stand don't force her but you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigil oh. okay take her gradually you try to walk to where well, while they are carrying you please when you keep her exercise there's no reason out there there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so I was talking about this oil um, there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um, stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the Word of God and as directed by the Holy Spirit last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we're doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please we'll make it very fast you can see that it's already five o'clock it's almost as if um, it was not a vigil <laughs> praise God father we give you all the praise I lift up this jar of oil and in the name of Jesus Christ we call it an oil of breakthrough say amen we decree and declare let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough the supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this I pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders in the name of Jesus let this provoke angelic visitations in the name of Jesus Christ and let this cause the Holy Spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because I was anointed in the name of Jesus may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the spirit in the name of Jesus we dedicate this I command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the spirit representing breakthrough at the same time let this be an oil of judgment in the name of Jesus Christ let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the Holy Spirit God's ability, God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. We have to say it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I'm anointing you so that you will stand. And as I lay my hands, I pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first. I want you to believe it. This is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life. Supernatural grace, supernatural grace, supernatural grace. Anointing of the Holy Ghost in fresh dimensions. In the name of Jesus, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so you can give it to them. 
Father, we decree and declare this is an oil of supernatural breakthrough. I can always add, please quickly station yourselves. We are going to be praying all through as soon as as soon as the oil touches you, please, I want you to begin to pray. Worship team, you give us. Uh, okay, just play the instruments. We'll just begin to pray in the spirit. Everyone praying in the spirit. As the oil comes upon you, begin to declare, speak forth, release your faith. Lord, we decree and declare right now. Let miracles begin. Let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You can stand here. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Shabra nuska la briga di balatushia. Shabra kato se bredish kalabra di ashaba. As soon as you touch the oil, begin to prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare the word of the Lord becomes my testimony. The oil is anointed. Man de brada skala brede shevre de seka to prata kata baladaba. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Make sure everyone is anointed. Make sure everyone is anointed, young, old. Sambra di kasu di briada balada bos. Madi brasa zize anakushada cross kalaba. Please keep standing, everybody. It's morning already. I want to make an altar call quickly. Our time is up. It's just two minutes to six. Please keep standing. No moving around inside, outside. There are people here. You have seen the power of God. You have seen the grace of God. And you're saying, Apostle, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to hand my life over to God, like the dear lady who came out, um, and many other people. I know that it is morning, but it should not rob you. The greatest miracle, literally and truthfully, is an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you are inside, you are outside, any of the overflows online, you are following, and you are saying, Man of God, I want you to pray with me. And at the same time, there are people you have given your heart to the Lord, but things happen around your life. Your life went haywire and you need your sin. I, I cannot go back the way I came. I want to have this restoration, this encounter. I'm rededicating my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, please, we have just two minutes for you. Inside, outside, please clear the way for them. Make sure you don't discourage them. Let's appreciate them as they come. Wherever you are, God bless you. Make your way to the front. Are you appreciating them? They are coming. Please run, run quickly. Inside, outside. If you're coming, I want you to run. God bless you. God bless you. Clap hands for them. They are coming. God bless you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Keep coming. Don't let anyone stop you. If you are joining them, please come quickly. Clear the way for them. Overflow one, two, three, and then the fourth one. Those online connect with us. I'm about to lead them with a very special prayer. Very special prayer. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Tonight, come, join them quickly. Tonight, you're coming from outside. Quickly, 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 join them. Join them. Let's be very fast. Let's be very fast. Quickly. Say after me, all of you standing here, say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. I ask you to cleanse me, forgive my sins. I believe you, you were raised from the dead, and now you are alive. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare by the authority of scripture that I'm a child of God. I decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life is given to me right now. I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, we present to you the ones you died for. And we decree and declare that this will begin the beginning of a great journey in their lives. I, I declare that your sins are forgiven. I command that the power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of Satan is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus, you go from glory to glory. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. 
and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus I'll see you again bye